Hi, welcome to uh, San Francisco School of Fire Design. I'm Michael Gaffney, your director. Um, today we're going to do three main projects. We're going to do an English and an American and a classic design. What does that mean? I always tell my students on the first day I have good news and I have bad news. <laughs> You're already laughing. You get my jokes. Uh, the good news is if you don't do gorgeous work today, I will pay for the rest of your semester. Bad news, it's never happened in 12 <laughs> years. But today may be the day. Um, here's my story and I'm sticking to it. 20 some years ago, I was working on Wall Street in New York and I was not very happy. I had a little office job at a commodities brokerage firm and I went back to Milwaukee and I walked into a flower shop where I'm from and they said, hey, can you drive a truck? And I said, sure. So I drove a truck for two weeks delivering these beautiful flower arrangements, thinking, oh, they're little L's, little magical things here. And uh, at the end of two weeks, I said, I'm leaving. I got a real job in New York City. They said, wait a minute. I said, what? They said, help us do flowers. I went, I don't do that. They go, you do now. I go, what do you want me to do? And they said, well, and, and stick one of these in each one of those. And it was green with a red flower. And of course, because I'm Wall Street and right brain, I said, why? And they said, well, annoying one, it's be called the focal point. And I went, oh. There's a little method to their madness. So I remember thinking, oh, so there's a little bit of rhyme and reason. So I stayed uh, the rest of the day. I came back the second day out of curiosity. I stayed a third day. I stayed six years. And I went back to my job at Fairchild Arabatsis and Smith in, in New York City. Um, and then I spent another 15 years, I, I, I talk about doing hard labor, um, where I worked under a really t great designer, one of the best designers I ever met. And he taught me exactly what to do when I pick up flowers. And here's, after studying from him, I went on to, to really analyze and formulate patterns in design. I call it the Da Vinci Code of flower design. This is easy stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and I thought, I can do this. It's like Rubik's Cubes. When you hand me flowers, I dial in a recipe and I go. I go like this. You know what you do? Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you. Um, so I'm here to teach you the formulas, the patterns, and uh, the reasons why I put a flower where I put it. There is a reason. This is not hocus pocus. Uh, this is not artistic creativity. It's part of it. I, d I discovered after 20 some years of doing this that here's what it is. Flower designing is this much creativity. There's a slice. It's that much patterns, formulas, and recipes. Science, architecture, and math. Two plus two is? You can do what I do for a living. That's all it takes. Two plus two is? Ooh, another one taking my job. Um, and I work for ABC, now CBS, NBC, Martha Stewart Radio, uh, the t uh, Today Show. Uh, I've been on uh, uh, Hallmark Channel, a regular on there. Um, what else am I doing? Uh, museums. I lecture at museums on my Da Vinci Code of flower design. I'm uh, shooting my third book in Paris, as I said. Um, who knew? That's what happened. I have schools in 14 cities, including Europe. Um, so I stuck around because so I thought I can do this. I kept waiting to see, see what I would be when I grew up. And after like 15 years, I thought, I think I am going to be a florist. So um, I'm going to teach you how easy this is. And once you know the patterns that I know and the formulas I know, then this part of you will come out. So you will have your say. On Saturday, those of you here for all week, you will be doing, I know it's only a week away, You'll be doing your own wedding on Saturday. I'm going to send, give you a budget. You're going to go shopping. You're going to buy your flowers. I'm going to tell you the workhorses that I use, the ones that hold up professionally. You're going to come back, design your wedding, and I'm going to go like this. Oh, my God, they're better than I am. It happens every Saturday in America where I teach. I'm in a different city every week, and every Saturday I go, oh, my God. This is what that part is. It just comes flying out of you. It's amazing what I see on Saturdays. The most gorgeous things. More gorgeous than half the professional designers I know working in New York City. I think it has something to do with innocence. I'm not sure how this is working exactly on that last day. But on the last day, you're going to create your own wedding, and I'm going to go, oh my god, it's spectacular. There, there's a picture on my website of six women holding bouquets, and you can't see it, so blow it up. They had taken one week course, and when they were done, I said it's some of the best work I've seen in 10 years anywhere in this world. And they had all started on Monday. Now, none of them had taken classes before. So I know you find this hard to believe, but you'll see on Saturday, those of you here all week. Um, if you're here for today, you're here for the sampler course, we're going to do three big projects today. 
Um, it's, I say the sampler to explain it. The sampler is for people who want to have a really fun day, learn how to keep flowers alive for weeks in your house instead of four or five days. Uh, if you're here for the intro, you're here today, tomorrow, and Saturday. It's for people who want to do a small wedding. By the time you're done, you'll know how to do a small wedding, centerpieces, bridal, boutonnieres, corsages, headries. Um, and if you're here for the whole week, I own you until further notice. Um, and at, on, if you're here for the full week, I now look at you as normal people, like just common everyday people. On the last day, I'll go, oh, designer. Oh, she's a designer. I'll have this whole new look about you that I'll, I'll refer to you as. It happens every week. I'll just think, oh, she's a designer now. It's funny. You start labeling other people. I start labeling you. Um, and it will work. I've never failed because it's easy. It's really easy what I do for a living. Um, I was on the Riazman show, and the producers put all my flowers in a big pile. They think they're funny by messing it all up. And uh, I came out, and they said, you're live with Marie in five, four, three, two, one. Marie Osmond comes walking out like this. She looks down at my bouquets, thinks that I didn't prepare for my show. She gives me this look like, I will kill you, and my brothers will beat you up after the show. And she put her arm around me and squeezed me and went, oh, hi, Marie. She said, Michael Gaffney's here for the New York School of Flower Design. What are you going to do with this today, Michael? I can't wait to kill you after the show. And I went, Marie, this is what I'm going to do. And she went, oh, God. How did you do that? I go, stay tuned after this message. I'll show you how. So do you understand what I'm saying? It's formulas in your head. I, I pattern. In the whole world of flower land, there's about 20 eight styles of design that we all use. It's either French, American-inspired, English-inspired, uh, Japanese-inspired, uh, classic, contemporary, parallel, vegetative, pave, like a tennis bracelet of diamond cut stones, um, hand-tied, uh, European hand-tied with cascade. In the regular week course, we're going to do 24 of those projects. The other eight, maybe, are up in the air, large centerpieces. Those are in my master's class. So the basic core, the alphabet, you need to learn the alphabet this week. You're going to learn 24 styles of design, approximately 23, 24, depending on which ones I, I edit it sometimes, depending on the students. But at the end of the week, you're going to look at any website and see that design on everything you look at, because it's the alphabet of our business. Just like you have an alphabet for your English language, we have an alphabet in our business. And I'm going to teach you the alphabet this week. So everything you look at, like 80 to 90% of everything you see online, you go, oh, that's that parallel design he taught us, which is a very urban architectural structure design. Or, oh, that's that English mass design, M-A-S-S. -S. Um, so by the end of the week, everything will seem familiar to you. I'm also going to talk to you about economics, financing, how to interview while we're designing, how to talk like a designer. People come into a flower shop all the time, and they say, oh, I just love flowers. And my friends tell me I'm really creative. Can I work for you? I go, hell no. <laughs> it's the last two things I care about. I don't care if you love flowers. And I don't care. If you think you're creative, you're going to come in the back room and have some weird thing back there. I'm like, what the hell is that? Um, you need to talk the lingo. You need to say, I know how to tape and wire. I know how to wrap your bouquets on a Saturday morning. I know how to do parallel. I can green in your centerpieces. I know how to flower in. That's why we hire you, because you know the no. You walk the walk and talk the talk. You can make my life easier on a Saturday morning. So that's what I'm going to teach you here in class. Uh, whether you're here for a day or we have, today is, it, who's here for the sampler, the one day? We have a lot to do. So I hope you brought big laundry baskets to carry everything home. And we do have some extra boxes. <laughs> we brought some extra boxes for you to carry. You're going to take home a lot of flowers. And my book, you all have my blue book. If you, uh, the blue book, again, follows the course. The green book, Flower Power, is the new one. And it covers sort of high-end LA, New York City, based, simple, but profitable designing. This one is for sale if you want to buy this one after class. I will sign your books after class. We are ready to begin. Thank you very much.